the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Dynamite. And we have a very special guest with us today. A man by the name of... Rem Job. You're damn right. Let's crack into another one. Uh, guys, I actually have a wholesome story today. Oh. We'll start out wholesome, but one debaucherous. Don't worry. <laughs> uh, so Love it. There's an NBA player. His name is Mitchell Robinson. I don't know who he is or who he plays for. Truth, not facts here on the Crazy Town Podcast. Is he, could he date Nate Robinson's sister? Did they meet in a random area? Are they living in Kentucky? Or did they meet, or did they meet at a family reunion? <laughs> yeah, huh? yeah, yeah. Did they live in Kentucky? Did they like, did they... <laughs> did they meet? Is it, it's, it's okay if it's south of the border, huh? Is it Kentucky south of the border? I don't, I don't know. Mason-Dixon, I guess. Isn't it? All of the above. Yes. Hey, in count. Kentucky, it's fine. Okay, sure. So, um, anyway. his coach from high school, oh. uh, his, uh, his wife died this year. And so he invited him to come and live with him as a grown ass man because uh, I guess because he's rich and can I don't know, but uh, that is some of the most wholesome shit I've ever heard. Like he made such an impact on this dude's life. He's like, yeah, coach, come on, just live with me. Man, dude, that's not where I thought you were going with that. I said it was wholesome. Yeah, yeah. it's like and his coach. Now Jonas <laughs> told me the story last night, and it was it was it's a really feel good story. Story of a of a young guy who. Obviously, the coach had an impact on his life. Got him probably, you know, up this game to the point where he can now play professionally and take care of his family and do for his community. And, you know, decides to take his coach in. It reminds me of, like, the blind side, except in reverse, right? <laughs> it's yeah, reverse blind side. Yeah, out of that guy. He adopts a white dude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The, he sees, the, him, he the, sees the, a white guy walking along the road, and he's like, <laughs> that guy could coach. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Ah, that guy can coach. <laughs> that shit is, I mean, yeah. yeah. Have you ever led black men to be like, what? <laughs> yeah. They're like, we want to adopt you. It's like, I'm 60 years old. <laughs> Fine, coach. Come on in. But uh, I guess they actually, like, exploited the shit out of that blindside guy. The oh, kid. yeah. For like, sure. they, they, like, they didn't, he didn't get it. They took a bunch of his money and stuff. Like, they... <laughs> Speaking of, like, that's just what insane. Was, I remember, like, when I watched the movie, what was the shit? He tested, like, in the movie, the dude tests high on, like, protection or some shit. It's, like, on, like, protective instincts. And oh. I remember thinking, like, what the fuck kind of test do you take yeah. where you test high on protective <laughs> instincts? Yeah, I'm just like, what? You ever see me guard a steak? <laughs> yeah. Protective instincts right there. That shit's wild. <laughs> like, like he has food aggression at yeah. home or something. <laughs> we throw a sandwich now. Yeah. We just have to throw yeah. it down and put our hands up for real. Yeah. yeah, it's like a yeah. <laughs> But no, that is super wholesome. I remember thinking like growing up, if I was rich, like you could have your buddies just come live with you. Like being rich yeah. enough to do that would be sick. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. It's like you just let the homies like. You know, we, we've talked about before, like, if one of us gets rich, like, yeah, you can go get my groceries and stuff. I'll pay you, yeah, I'll pay 100%, you a good salary. I'll fucking be a butler, dude. My I'll, boy, I'll pay you 100K to, like, go yeah. get my groceries and do appointments for me and, like, yeah. whatever. Like, if I got the money. But really, all you're doing is just chilling out. <laughs> yeah. 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 But I feel like that turns into, I think we talked about that. It's like, and then it's like, the, you hold the power over your friend. It's oh, like, for sure. It's all like. You come yeah. home, there's dishes in the sink. And you're like, bro, what have you been doing? <laughs> what have you been doing all day? Like. You just I pay you 100k a year. Yeah, <laughs> dude, you're living here. You're living here free, dude. Like, it's so it. true. You can literally take that 100k and just get a maid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, dude, sure. You like you sublet your butler See, room to somebody no, else. 100. percent No, it, then all of a sudden it gets to the point where you're all like you're all hanging out with your boys partying. He's like, go lick the floor. Yeah, and he's like, I'm not gonna go lick the floor. He goes, do you want your salary? <laughs> what, <laughs> what kind of friends do you have, hey. man? Ultimate power, money yeah. corrupts no. all dude. The second you get power. Oh my God, I don't, I don't know. know. He's like, butt chug that vodka, bro. He's I mean, like, I, I'm, I'm, I'm an alcoholic. I'm recovering. You want that 100K? 100%. What if that guy is like a terrible roommate? Like, he's a great coach, but he's just like not a good roommate. He's like pissing on the floor. He's stealing yeah, yeah. his he's women. He's up at night, like just blasting music. <laughs> he's cucking him. Like, yeah, he's, he's, he's cucking him. With his, comes home, he's fucking his Cock blocking him. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Walks in, unloads his first box, starts hanging up his furry posters. Yeah, just, yeah, it's just not even He's a got good his look. precious moments figurines on the mantle. Yeah. But I will say, so like, if y'all had like not like a father figure like that, but like somebody like a coach, like a teacher that like really impacted you like that, that you'd be like, yeah, come fucking live with me. Like, <sighs> yeah, I did. Yeah, yeah, it was uh, it was Brad Pitt and Fight Club. 
Yeah. You'd be like, come live with me, Brad Pitt. Yeah, that should change my life, man. <laughs> Tyler really, Durden? Yeah, the, Tyler Durden changed my life. The, I feel like I'll, 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 say, I'll say that right now. Is that the, the two movies that I can say that, that, that made me think different, uh, Fight Club and Barbie. Really? Yeah, yeah. What would Barbie teach you? It, it taught me is that it is it, that women have it hard out here, and yeah. you know, and you are enough, and I am enough without <laughs> without a woman. You know, that's important yeah. to know. You got to be a enough for yourself, and you got to respect the bitches. Hundred percent. Oh. Yeah. And like the, I remember hearing a lot of stories about like couples that broke up after that movie because like the girl, really? the girl like realized that like the yeah. guy was kind of toxic. That's why I don't let Katie watch that movie. She is not allowed to watch it. I don't want to break up. We're staying together. Wait, you, you're, are you toxic enough? You got to no. worry about it? Like, <laughs> no. <laughs> She's I, don't wanna, I just don't want to risk it, you know? Like, I don't want to risk it. Just in case. Did you see it? No, I haven't seen it yet, but Brother. I really want I need to see that and you see Oppenheimer. Oh, um, yeah. Oppenheimer's right. like three and a half hours about something I know what happens, so yeah. I'm not really interested. Barbie was at least relatively entertaining. Yeah. Um, it made me laugh out loud a yeah, few times. It, it looks, was, it was funny. It looks enough. really good. But I just saw, what's that new, The Boy and the Heron, have you heard of this? No, I have not. Hayao no. Miyazaki's new movie. Okay. It's like one of his last Studio Ghibli films. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I fucking love Studio Ghibli. So it's, it's an anime? Yeah, so it's animated. Okay. It, it's gotten like a ton of awards or like it's been uh, what it put up for awards. But me and my buddy went and watched it. I have no fucking idea what the movie was about. We literally, it ended. And we looked at each other. The dude behind me was like, I'm so fucking confused right now. And that's probably the first movie I've been to that I've like just not understood any of it. Love, that's like, like my favorite type of movie. <laughs> we went to the Bo was Afraid it, and dude. that was exactly what happened. It made yeah. it was like when I watched uh not Remnant. What was the movie where Tenant? Where it's like, uh, I don't know if I saw that Tenet. shit was crazy. And I, I was like, Tenet. I have no fucking idea. Did you watch Bo was Afraid? With, no, with I haven't seen that, that yet. That movie is exactly that. I really want to see that, too. Dude, that movie is a good one to see if you like that type of movie. Yeah. Where it's just confusing from be beginning to end. And, like, there's a story. And there's, like, a timeline. But nothing makes sense. You're like, okay, so is this world this or is it this? No. It's is like when you see okay? uh, Eternal yeah. Sunshine, Spotless Mind. Like, all those kind oh, of movies. I want to watch that, too. Are just, no, just, I'm thinking of the unbearable weight of talent or something it's like the movie oh with i know what you're talking Nick about cage and pedro yeah, pascal yeah, 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 there's a shit ton of memes from it so i just like yeah. seen a ton there's something beautiful about a movie that has magic in it and it's unapologetic and it just has like just doesn't explain anything no, for just sure. tosses you into that world and some things are like your world and some things aren't i love yeah it. i mean there's a i mean uh it's an old movie but lost highway it was a david lynch movie like I've watched that movie like four times. I have no idea what well, it's like. What happened? Yeah, <laughs> there's something about like because I got home and I like was reading about the movie and there's like something about like watching it and like not understanding things and then like reading about it and like learning. Oh, this was this symbolism. This was all this shit. But like yeah. one of the comments was like, oh, yeah, the movie is pretty simple if you've seen the documentary on the, on Hayao Miyazaki. And I was like, yeah. you're telling me I have to fucking watch the documentary. On the creator of the movie to understand it, like at that point, it was just like it's it was really fucking confusing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah but that, yeah, that Fight Club's a great example because the mm -hmm. first time you watch it, you have no idea what's going on. And then as soon as you like know the ending and go back and watch it, you're like, there's a billion yeah. clues throughout the they entire were fucking movie. Fucking telling you the on. whole time. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. Crazy. But it's, the messaging behind that movie is what what I I feel that drives it. It's, it's the sick. messaging. Yeah, they just fight. No, no. They, they teach basically make a club didn't fight yeah. they teach that you know like i don't know i i always took from the movie is that worldly possessions are not valuable you know it's about your attitude towards things that mm -hmm. really matters and basically don't take shit too seriously yeah because yeah. you know it's it's not really serious and anyone in can end. form a terrorist organization yeah unknowingly i yeah. thought about it no <laughs> No, no, not well, like what kind of Jonas? What kind of terrorist do you think I'd be? be a fun you'd like terrorist. Save things. Yeah, like, you'd like save things. I'd be a, you'd be like a, a terrorist prank. A like, terrorist oh, prank terrorist. you run up with like a bomb strapped to you. You're like, oh, it's a prank. Dude. Gotcha. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> yeah. Just kidding. Uh, yeah. what, no, Yo, the camera. Dude. Yeah. No, no officer. I'm just. Yeah. Yeah. It's a social experiment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We need yeah. more of those. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> well, that was like when that uh, when that shit came out. Uh, where like there were like the flesh eating zombies and those people went around thought it would be funny to dress up like zombies and walk around like in the mm -hmm. public and then people like started trying to beat the shit out of them because yeah, they exactly. thought they were, you're like 
What the hell do you think was going to happen? What happened to the clowns? You remember oh, the, the clowns, clowns that used to just like walk up on people's cars with machetes and shit? Dude, I do not remember that. No. Fuck, dude. That, Night- that, nightmares. That was the story that came out. It was a. Like, Maybe six or eight months ago, they were just like wandering around, and they became like a thing. People were wandering around the streets in full clown outfits with like machetes, yeah. and then people started to beat the shit. Out of them. And then there's no dude. It works, dude. Bullying works, dude. I doubt there's anyone fucking. There's no clowns. A few of them got beat up, and they just got fucking roasted. <laughs> and no one's fucking doing that anymore. I don't think I want to be a clown anymore. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Dad. I don't want. <laughs> yeah. Just take yeah. off your makeup. Yeah. <laughs> just crying. Uh, anyways, that's all the time we have for this episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe for Jonas. TNT and Rem Job. Uh, we out.